Hi everybody, this is Carla with Cowboy Corner and welcome to another episode of Throwback Thursday. This is a channel about cross stitch. Uh, normally my floss tube longer episodes talk about my personal stitching, um, things going on in the cross stitch industry and my online shop. Um, but the Throwback Thursday episodes um, are a time when I pull about a dozen different older charts, some quite old. Um, sometimes a little quirky things you're probably not aware of and uh, let you think outside the box of when you're looking for things to stitch. Uh, you don't always have to stitch what everybody else is stitching on floss tube and uh, some of the older designs are quite nice um, and often quite less expensive. So I've got about today I've got about 13 different things to show you and I'm just going to jump right in. The first one is a design by Sally Ann Designs and it's called Birds of a Feather Sampler. And it was published in, let's see, does it say 1992? And isn't that cute? It's just a very simple small sampler with a, a ornate ABC and grapes and then two birds. And this was, let's see, the design area is 60, well, sorry, 73 by 73 and it was stitched with Krynik Auversoir, um, which is a silk thread, and it also gives a DMC and anchor uh, conversion. Uh, it uses a few specialty stitches. It uses a small rice stitch, a large rice stitch, and queen stitches, and also a small four-sided pole stitch. And those are um, shown right there, so they show you how to do those. So I would say this is a um, simple design overall uh, and gives you a chance to try some specialty stitches. And that is Birds of a Feather and it's by Sally Ann Designs from 1992. Okay, the next design is called Solitude and it was designed by Jean Chase Farnham with Country and Colonial Stitches. And this was um, published in 1996 and it's called Solitude. And it's a simple, very, very simple stitch. Um, you've got just a hiker following a trail in the woods. And I really like the title of that, kind of out there enjoying nature. And this one is 123, uh, 124 by 94. No, 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 no. Sorry, that's the thread count. Um, stitch count 62 by 47 very small sorry about that I was reading the wrong thing um, so if you stitch it um, on 36 count fabric over two then it is three and a half by two and a half inches so very small quick stitch super quick stitch and it was stitched with um, silk floss from the thread gatherer a bride's blush and tapestry green and then the little bird is i thought that was a hiker that's a little bird and actually when i look at it on the pattern it very much looks like a bird um that's in uh japan gold krynik so that is solitude by country and colonial let's see the next one is called milk and honey land country hospitality 2 by jeremiah junction and jeremiah junction was very popular back in the um, late 80s. This one was published in 1984, so I guess early 80s, mid 80s. And most of their designs were um, religious based with a definite country theme. They had a very distinct style. Um, but their booklets come with a lot of different designs. So this is Country Hospitality 2. from 1984 and um, let's see they have a log cabin sampler honey bear tea party and cozy pattern where your heart is welcome one heart a marriage sampler joy and peace honeybee sampler recipes and finishing directions eat and be full cattle applique uh, country herbs feed my lambs and giving thanks so and then they also provide some applique templates so things like that uh, let's see where that goes with this design right here in the middle 
So some of the verses are, but as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Uh, for every beast of the forest is mine and the cattle upon a thousand hills. Uh, for where your treasure is, there will is there will your heart be also. Um, different things like that. So that is 1984 Country Hospitality 2 by Jeremiah Junction. Um, the next one is another Giftables book by uh, where the designs were done by Sam Hawkins and it was published by Jeanette Cruz Designs. And this one was published in 1997 and is Giftables, Giftables Baby Stuff. And almost all of these designs are quite small. Um, they've got just a bunch and bunch of stuff. They have a really neat um, baby alphabet. So uh, let's see if they can see. So you can see some of the alphabet letters here. And let's see some here. They have the full alphabet. And then they also have, let's see, hummingbirds. Uh, no, whoop, nope, 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 that's wrong. Um, let's see, alphabet, they don't have an index. Bunny babies, um, they have this um, handle gently, uh, dad's pride and joy, and it's a car. They have some old fashioned cars, mom's little boy, um, heart dolly project, um, all kinds of things. Please bear with me, God isn't finished yet. Balloon and baby bear. So all of these different designs are included in that one book. And they're all, most of them are very, very small. So that is Baby Stuff, Giftables Baby Stuff by Sam Hawkins, published by Jeanette Crew Designs in 1997. The next one um, doesn't have a date on it, but it's got to be late 80s, early 90s, I would think. And this one's unique because a lot of it is done in um, backstitch, kind of kind of like a black work. And it's called Victorian Rose by Idle Time Designs. And isn't that unique? And I do have another one. I don't know what the name of it is, but if you, if you like this design, there's a companion piece with, I think it has yellow flowers, a woman with yellow flowers. So if you just do a um, search on Idle Time Designs, or do a search by designer. Um, this one, let's see, is 99 by 116, and it was designed by Vicki Graham, and let's see if it says what. The back stitch, back stitch is just done in 310 black, and the other colors are all DMC, and it does not say what kind of uh, fabric they use for the model. So that is Victorian Rose by Idle Time Designs. The next one is called Toy Circus by Holly Designs. Holly Designs Presents, actually. And this is uh, three designs, and one of them I really, really like. It's got a bear sitting at a table with um, a whole bunch of like cereal, like a teddy bear. And then it's got these two adorable ducks and then a clown. But um, there's the bear. And then look at these. Look at that. Isn't that hilarious? Those are so cute. I just love it. And those are just called birds. And then you've got this adorable clown. So you get all three of those uh, designs. And this chart has a, just a little bit of aging. Let's see, did I already say what year it was? Uh, 1983. So that's by Holly Designs Presents Toy Circus. Oh, and before I forget, all of the links to these charts are down below in the more information section. And uh, if you happen to click on something and it comes up page not found, <coughs> I'm sorry, that means that the um, item is sold out and it's something we probably aren't going to get in again. If you go in and um, it's there but out of stock you can add yourself to the waiting list and if it ever comes back in stock you will be uh, notified when we get it back the next one is by heart and hand by cecilia turner who is of course um still designing this one was published in 2002 
and it's called Button Bonanza. So it's got the large button up uh, design. Well, it's a small design, but it just says in big letters, button up. And then it says, grandmother's sweater, auntie's coat with a patch, buttons are memories where worn, whether worn or mismatched. So I'll show you that again. And this is from, this one um, is old new stock, uh, sorry, new old stock from a store that went out of business and it has just a little bit of uh, wear along the bottom from where it was on display. And then it does, the pages do have a little bit of aging, but it's never been used. Um, the button memories one uh, with the verse is 63 wide by 118 high and the button up um, small is 49 by 47. And they were uh, both stitched with Weeks Dye Works. So that is Button Bonanza by Heart and Hand from 2002. The next one is a large book. Now these used to be quite popular and this one is huge. It's got, let's see, over, over 250 pages and it's called Special Occasions in Cross Stitch, Warm and Welcoming Designs for Holidays and Celebrations. It originally sold for $26.95 and it was published in 1992 by um, Rodale Press. Um, it's got dozens of designs, um, Spring Banner, March Charm, Aunt Mary's Footstool, Country Pillow Pair, April Ecstasy, Mr. Fancy Pants, uh, Happy Birthday Baby, uh, Dialed Up Quilt, Spring Tablecloth, Silver Anniversary, Patriotic Village, and more. So let me show you just a few. Here's the Patriotic Village. Um, let's see. It's got all kinds of um, finishing ideas. Now, the nice thing about these is you get just a ton of designs in the book. This one is a Home Sweet Home sampler. Look at the dancing girls. Um, but it's very heavy, so it's expensive. This book, I weighed it before I um, started the video, and it's over two pounds. So shipping is quite a bit higher, unless you order enough to qualify for free shipping. Look at that, that bird uh, banner is really cool for winter. Um, let's look at a few more. It's got these crystal snowflakes. And it says it has designs for Christmas, Valentine's Day, Easter, Mother's Day, Father's Day, patriotic holidays, Halloween, Thanksgiving, weddings, bridal showers, anniversaries, housewarmings, new babies, and birthdays. Special bonus designs for four seasonal banners and 12 monthly samplers. Let me see if I can find any of the Halloween designs. Look at this. This is really cool. I don't know that that's all cross stitch, but look at that. It's called Dolled Up Quilt. Isn't that cool? That is really interesting. Um, so it's got a basic doll pattern and then different ideas for so you basically you just on this quilt you just stitch just the body and then you decorate the dress however you want to dress the doll up that's really interesting got a spring tablecloth here's a treat here we go they have double double doyle and toil and trouble fire burn and cauldron bubble that's one of the Halloween designs. And yeah, let's see what they have for Christmas. We have a holiday runner on the snowflake. Oh, and then they have these two uh, stockings too. But like I said, it's like 250 um, pages full but the shipping, if you bought this by yourself on my site, shipping would be, um, it would have to go priority shipping because it is a big, and it's in perfect condition. Um, so that is special occasions in cross stitch. And the link's down below.
sorry, my ring light. You can just see my ring light perfect on that. <laughs> um, by Rodeo uh, Craft Books. Um, the next one is um, a new baby design. It's called The Dream Goes On by Rainbow Chasers. And this one has quite a bit of wear um, compared to the other ones I've shown you. This is a pre-owned book. And the reason I chose this, it's got, it's got a star danced and under that star, I was born. And that's the little baby sampler, which I love that saying. That's very unique. Um, this one down set here says, a determined baby can bring up his mother quite nicely when he puts his mind to it. That's really funny. But what I really liked was the baby alphabet. Look at that. Isn't that cool? It's got so many colors and, and it's got like the bright rainbow umbrella. Um, a yo-yo, a zebra, a moon. So I thought that was really, really, really neat. This one was published in 1983 and it's got the star danced and under that star I was born sampler then it has another one called sophisticated worldly wise it says sophisticated worldly wise I searched for God and found him not until one day the world forgot I found him in my baby's eyes um, it's got a first Christmas stocking and then it's got the sophisticated, uh, oh, whoops, that's the one I just said. It's got a kitty cat toy, which is just a pattern to make the toy. And let's see, it's got shoo baby sleeping. So here's a bunch of the different things that are in here. So um, I thought that was, actually kind of an interesting um, older book. I love the Bringing Up Mother. Um, so that, and this one is pre-owned. It's got quite a bit of wear, but all of the patterns are perfectly fine. So that's The Dream Goes On by Rainbow Chasers. The next one is Pride of the West by Quackenbush um, Creations. And um, this is a Western, um, focuses on the Southern states. And you don't often find a lot uh, like these, but what's interesting about this, if you see a lot of the designs have this Texas outline, but it also pre pre provides outlines for New Mexico, Arizona, Oklahoma, and California, in addition to the Texas outline. So you can take a single design that's in the book and then put it against the background of one of those states. Um, so what the one I like on this is the armadillo. You can kind of see that. I'm going to turn my light down. Hang on. There. There. You can see the armadillo. And then it's got cows. And you don't have to stitch the state background. So this one was... Um, Published in 1984, Pride of the West. And I think this is just like two or three dollars on our site. Um, the next one is called Naturally Cats 2 by Cross My Heart. I really wish Cross My Heart was um, still publishing. They had some really, really nice designs. And these two are just amazing. Look at those kitties. I just love this one. So they're gonna be uh, quite detailed, I would say on the advanced side. And let's see if they say what kind, there's calicos and Persians. Aren't those cool? And I think I have a couple of these left in my shop. And this was published in 2003 and they were um, designed by Sherry Step, Stepoe, Step, S-T-E-P-P-A-W-E-A-U's. -E -E and I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, but she designed quite a few designs early on. I don't know if she's still designing, but Cross My Heart is no longer publishing as Cross My Heart anyway. But aren't those just amazing? The eyes are, are so well done. So that is Naturally Cats 2. 
And this one also, this, um, this came from a store that went out of business and it does have some lower edged wear from display and a little bit of scuffing, but all of that is described on our website. If there's ever any wear to any of our charts, it will be described in red um, on the description of the product. So the last one I have is called Simple Country Pleasures and it was published by Country Cross Stitch. And this one was published in 1985. And this is typical of early cross stitch designs with the country theme. It's got the shadow box here, which I kind of like. But the ones I really like that I hadn't seen before I pulled this are these pull toys. Look at that, it's got the ducks, the rabbits, and then it's got the pigs. I think those are pretty cool. Um, so it's got in total, and it's got a whole bunch of little tiny, tiny designs. Um, all of the designs in the shadow box are, are um, charted individually. So you have this tiny, tiny cat, the rocking horse, the doll. And then this is a trunk with a goose, the uh, wooden duck. And then on the back, you've got the bunny on a shelf and the baby bed and rocking horse. But um, it doesn't show those on the back cover, so I hadn't seen these before. I just think those are really cool. I love the pig pull toy. So that's it for this episode of Throwback Thursday. I hope you saw something you like. Again, the links are down below. And make sure that you subscribe and then hit the bell so that you get notified um, whenever I have new episodes on my Floss Tube channel. Thanks for watching everybody and happy stitching. Bye bye.